I know a lot of you are trying to get that Ola Tua or the Magnesiras, so that is why I made this video. I'm going to show you guys the fastest method of getting sea artifacts with a few extra tips because I'm pretty sure everyone already knows the fastest method. Alright, so as you can see here, these are the sea artifact requirements. Now, you want to ignore the water artifacts because they don't even matter. They only decrease the price by 2%, which is absolutely nothing. The sea artifacts, you can either roll the sea gotcha, which is basically not an option because you guys don't want to waste um, your mush, or you can kill any elder creature as an aquatic. Now, you can actually do this with this method and go a tier 3 plus aquatic that's the one we're mainly focusing on obviously to do this you want you guys want the fastest tier 3 plus growing creature which is this creature right in front of you over here the zell legion i don't know how much this creature is worth but this creature is the key to getting sea artifacts it is the fastest method like officially and um if you guys want it to be a little bit faster you can use a plushie called Eryx. i don't have it but it increases your growth by 10 percent and another 10 percent which makes it 20 percent but Eryx is kind of expensive so i don't know all right basically you spawn as this the legion right okay so this creature um takes 15 minutes to grow without anything i'm pretty sure if you get the satiated bonus thing it's gonna take seven minutes and if you have air explosions that should be like five minutes maybe and uh, there's a little koi pice over here obviously a lot of you don't know how to get the satiated as fast as possible i looked all around the map with my fans and i found a few seaweed pods seaweed pods are little plants that when you eat them um, they give you saturated. So here is the map I made. Most of the seaweed pods I found are like in the east area of the map because I didn't find any on the west. So anyway, so I, as you can see, I spawned on the west um, area, but it's okay because this creature is really fast and you guys can just go to one of the locations over here in like a second. All right, so wait, there's one in this area over here. It's not here. That means it must be under probably. I love how I made this um, map and I don't even know where the seaweed pot is, but there it is. Yeah. So if you guys don't find them right in front of you, they're probably under you or above you because like it's it's the ocean, so it can be above or under. But yeah, I just got the saturated bonus, which means I'm gonna grow really fast. Every time you guys get to age 100, you just get a sea artifact, which decreases the price by 40%. And if it's seven minutes for like each sea artifact, for five sea artifacts, that is like 30 minutes, which isn't a lot at all. So a little option you can do is you can. If you kill any elder creature as this creature over here, um, you will get another sea artifact. So what you can also do is whenever you find a little tier 1 or tier 2 creature, you guys can just try to kill it. And that will also give you one. Already growing so fast. Like, it's been like 20 seconds. and I'm, Look at how fast this grows. Like, wait. Just, it's just going to take like 5 Yeah, it, it, it goes so fast. It's crazy. If you're on PC, what you want to do is you just want to dash out of the water. And while you're midair, you press the fly button. So it's going to start flying and gliding around and whatever. You can't flap your wings, but you can press space, which lets you like glide around, you know? And it also does some cool rolls around every time you do this. That's actually really fun to do. If you guys want to get back in the water, you have to press F, like the f a fly button again. Because it's just going to keep making you do these cool little bounces. It doesn't even take, it barely takes any stamina. So this is like so fun to do. Oh! didn't work so another little thing you can do to get these sea artifacts as fast as possible oh i'm already okay nest anyone as a zelly and it's gonna give you the two percent artifact which is barely anything like it's just if you want to maximize the speed it's gonna make it like faster by like three percent or something it doesn't really matter but i just reached adults okay i'm a male so i can't even create a nest but you get the point you just want to create a nest and uh lay there until you're at 100 you're gonna get a sea artifact and then you can nest somebody yeah, so i guess that's all you need to know about the sea artifact if you guys are gonna use any other method maybe it's like using an alt create alt account to uh keep killing it over and over and uh, to get the sea artifact but yeah those are pretty much your only options for the sea artifacts if you guys really need the creatures and you don't have any time you guys could just buy them but or trade a lot of stuff i don't know but they're worth about the magnesius i think is worth about 7,000, 8,000, 6,000, something in that range. The Ola Tula, I'm not sure, but it should be worth like two, three, four thousand, something like that. Also made a video on uh, fire artifact. It's called Fastest Method to Get Torch Rock, which is also any fire artifact. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe because I'm going to be making way more videos like these.